Well, I got two inch and I have one inch fern strips. Reason why two sizes is because some of the studs in this trailer are two inches wide, some are an inch wide. And the furring strips are going to be to help attach things to the wall after the wall boards are on. We want to hang things, a place, good place to anchor cabinets, good place to do stuff like that. So I'm drilling holes in the one inch uh, studs. I'm drilling a 1024 hole for the 1024 rib nut. In the two inches, I'm doing a, um, a quarter 20 um, strategically done wherever I think I need a you know a heavier uh, bolt uh, just thought that this would be better than screwing you know thousands of screws all through all the studs in here and somewhat remove this will be removable I'll be able to remove panels if I need to for any reason. Trailer lighting um, is going to be running behind the uh, crown molding along with my house wiring but the, where it runs down and goes out for the fender well lights and stuff like that I will have to have access to those wires are running in the wall so those panels will be removable you know this has all been tried to think of everything but you know how that goes too um so we're going to get started on these today got all the holes to drill and then i'll transfer the holes from the furring strips to the aluminum studs and then i'll get those holes drilled i got i'm going to make me a um, rib nut setter tool uh a bolt a couple pieces at the hardware store i can make it for two dollars or buy a rib nutting tool for you know forty fifty dollars or a uh, battery one they get expensive this way I can just do it with my cordless drill there's plenty of YouTube videos about that that's how we're gonna go with that all right I'll get some measuring and fire up the drill press and show you a little bit of that Pretty good. Said it came out pretty good. Yeah, I mean it's just taking you know, once you get get the groove going, good to go. You want to say hi to YouTube? Hi YouTube. <laughs> Mom, you want to come in and eat something? Uh, yeah. If you got something, I'll oh, eat it. Come on. All right. Now you heard that? Well, had a good lunch. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but the uh, ice cream snowball man is out here getting all the grandkids some cold snacks. <laughs> well, back at it. Is it all, all ice cream and snowball trucks play Christmas music in the summertime? I never understand that. Why are they playing Christmas music? <laughs> now I gotta transfer these holes for drilling in the studs.
Well, how's that for some work? Look at that. All about some custom mill working now. Ooh, thanks. These strips here, I'm not taking them all the way down to the fender well because I want full insulation around these uh, fender wells. Because you lose a lot of heat and a lot of cool air through there. So that's all going to be cased in styrofoam. And these fender wells will be under the beds. There's a bed on either side. So, got a good bit of that. Now uh, it'll be pulling these back out. I said I punched all the, the holes for rib nuts to go in each one of these where these are punched. And then I got, um, oh, what are they? 1024 uh, flathead bolts that will bolt these strips to the studs. So, just got another big Amazon ordered today. I got all kinds of nuts and bolts and oh my goodness, I just got boxes and boxes of quarter 20s, 1024s, you name it. And I still, I still uh, miscalculated on my 1024 rib nuts. So I'll have to get, I'll have to get another bag of these there's a hundred in a bag. I need another bag of those. I think I should be good on the quarter twenties, but I might get another bag of those uh, just to play it safe. So it's a little bit more done. I'm going to keep marching on. Hey, we'll see you again. Take care. Bye.